What's going on, Drunken Buddies? Brand new podcast coming right at you. But you know what we got to do first? We got to pay a couple bills in this motherfucker. So let's do that. First and foremost, we are brought to you by the Patreon. Home of exclusive content. Not just an exclusive and now we drink content. Exclusive content from me, your host, Matt Slayer. Some goofy videos, some musings, all sorts of stuff happening on the Patreon at patreon.com slash Matt Slayer. If you're enjoying the show, you could help support it for as little as 10 cents a day. That's right. $3 a month is the bottom tier, and you will be directly supporting And Now We Drink. Keeping me in booze, keeping the shows coming. Please consider supporting the Patreon. We are also brought to you by my Twitch stream. That's right. I'm still Twitch streaming. Right now, my schedule is Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Trying to get another day in there, but it's a hectic fucking schedule. So go to twitch.tv slash Matt F and Slayer. Come hang out. If you're listening to this on Thursday, we do community game night every Thursday night. Twitch.tv slash Matt F and Slayer. Oh yeah. If you're listening to this on audio, there is also a YouTube channel that I often forget to plug. So check out the YouTube at youtube.com slash now we drink. There's clips, there's highlights, slowly videos being moved over there. Anywho, let's get on with the show. My guest this week, returning after fucking like five years is adult performer lily lane lily's back we talk food we talk metal we talk travel oh it was good catching up with her i haven't seen her in person in a hot minute so we had a lot of fun with it i'm also really hung over from the podcast i recorded last night so that's it for this intro sit back relax pop a cold one and enjoy drinking buddies What the fuck's going on? Oh, it's me. It's Lily Lane. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Buenos dias. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jesus Christ. You haven't been on the show. Like, you have not actually been on the show under this branding. Like, you're, you're such an old school guest that you haven't been on since, like, I had my original co-host. Yeah, that is true. It's been, a, like, super, super long time. I have no idea how long it's been. It's like, been five a while. plus years since you've been Probably. on. Probably. Holy moly. I wow. mean, we've definitely hung out since then, but. Yeah, it's been, like, five years. Wow, that's a long time. Where has this time gone? <laughs> it's, like, totally flown by. I remember you had just gotten your, you know, in, enlargement. I had just got new boobs. Yeah, you had just got new boobs. Oh, because I, I very vividly that. remember you showing up. And being like, oh, hey, what's wow, new boobs? Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. So yeah, it's been a while. I think I got new boobs in 2016, and then in 2018. So it had to be the 2016. Yeah, it had to be the 2016 that's set. So crazy. Oh man, wow, that's a long fucking time. Yeah, we've known each other a hot yeah. minute. <laughs> I always forget, like. Yeah, I, I always feel like things have been like, oh, yeah, it's been like two years. And then I'm like, oh, my God, it's been fucking 12 years. What? Yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I think the last time we actually hung out, hung out was like one of Dino Cazares' birthday parties. like At, at a show. At a show. Yeah. yeah. It, it was, uh, uh, Asesino was playing? Yeah, it was Asesino. Uh, I don't remember. I feel like we parked in K-Town. Because like, I know we went to one of them at the whiskey. Was it that one? No, because we went to the one at the whiskey, and then we went to. I don't know. I think the following year was somewhere in, like the uh, the telegram or some shit like that. I have no idea, <laughs> but I do remember. I do remember going. Uh, I just don't remember where the fuck it was, but yeah, I do remember. Yeah, it's been a fucking long time, but I'm here now, and that's all that fucking matters. Well, the past matters, too, but yes. yes. I guess. <laughs> Metal. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. Is so, it? I think so. People who will be listening to this later, Lily dragged me out of bed for this. Oh, I so did not. Uh, this is just the only time that worked for me, so you need to figure it out and make it work, and we made it work. Yeah, yeah. I've so, been up since like six, okay, so. I mean, I technically was on and off around then. <laughs> so, you're fine. You can deal with it. My apartment still smells like steak because I've been rushed. 
It totally did. I walked in. I was like, it smells like carne in here. Steak. Uh, yeah. And he's like, I made steak for breakfast. I was like, I knew it. I could totally, totally smell it. Yeah. I had a fatty ass ribeye and some eggs. I had a bagel. <laughs> oh, I had a bagel too. <laughs> That's cool. Bagels are the best. Bagels are my favorite snack. Uh, I think my favorite breakfast, but definitely uh, I, I will have a bagel anytime. They're my favorite snack. In case anyone was wondering what Lily Lane's favorite snack is, is a bagel. Well, but there's so much more to dis- dissect there. I know there like, is more, right? Like what kind of bagel? I am a very boring girl. So it would be a plain toasted bagel with plain cream cheese, preferably whipped cream cheese. Solid. That's exactly what I had this morning. It's so good. Do you ever fuck around with the locks? Uh, no, I'm very picky and I don't like trying new things. <laughs> but like, that's like the Jewish delicacy. Mm. It's like, gotta, gotta do the locks occasionally. You gotta. My nephew, um, we just went to Hawaii for Thanksgiving. And my nephew uh, didn't know about like locks and stuff. And he was just excited. There was like, he's like, there's salmon in a bagel. And he thought it was like a salmon, like whole thing. And then when they brought out was like, locks in like all the things to make and he was like what is this he was like so confused and it was so great and it was so cute and i loved it <laughs> and it was adorable and, yeah, like was he just crazy. expecting like a whole chunk of fish like yeah he just didn't know how it was like gonna like, be presented he's like and there's i think he's just confused it it was pretty adorable it's like a fish bagel sandwich. Yeah, like yeah. I don't think he really thought it over. I think he was just like, you know, a teenager. He's, or he's not even a teenager. He's like 19 or 20. And I think he was just like woke up, was made to come down early for breakfast. And was just like, oh, salmon, salmon sounds good. And I don't think he realized like what he was ordering. How at 20 do you not know what locks are? How? I don't know. I don't know. Does he not live in L.A.? Uh, he lives somewhere around here in L.A. How, how do you yeah, live? I don't, I there's, don't know. There's a lot of my people here. Like I know, right? I don't I don't know. I mean, he doesn't live out here here. He lives like inner LA more. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of Yeah, I'm sure there's still is, but I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, I'm done with my story. No more salmon. <laughs> Interview over, Matt. You asked the wrong question. It's over. I'm done. I'm going home later. Enough of this bullshit, Matt. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit. Okay. So how the fuck was Hawaii, by the way? I was amazing. It was so nice. So I don't like flying. Flying gives me such horrible, horrible anxiety. Um, I love traveling, but when it comes to flying, that's where I just want to like throw up and pee and poop and just like explode. It's the worst. But I was so pleasantly surprised that uh, the flight out there and the flight back, there was like literally no turbulence. It was fucking amazing. Uh, and then, like, just being there by the beach every single morning, it was just so nice. It was wonderful. I want to go back. What are you looking for? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> no yeah. one would have known about that if you hadn't brought it up. I know, but I like doing that. I was looking for my phone to turn off the air conditioning before it kicks on. Oh, no. So keep telling oh, me about no. Hawaii while I go manually go, turn off the go, AC. Go do it. So Hawaii was wonderful. Like I said, uh, the beach was just so, so nice. It was just amazing being able to, like, look out your window and, like, the ocean is right there. And then you just go downstairs, walk right out of the hotel, like, out of, like, your tower of the hotel, and just you look out and the beach is there. You're literally, like, a minute away from the beach. Not even a minute away from the beach. We were, like, staying on the beach. It was just wonderful. Um, I want to go back, but once again, it's just my anxiety of that fucking flight, man. That's what's keeping me from booking another another uh, trip there. But it was beautiful, and I want to go back now. Uh, I, will, I definitely want to spend more time there. Like, I've, I've been to Hawaii once, and it was on, like, a 12-hour layover on the way back from Japan. Oh, wow. That's like, yeah, you need more time, but that's crazy. That's a cool layover, though. It was intentional. Like, Yeah, it makes sense. That makes like, sense. Oh, I could direct flight it back from Tokyo to LA, or I could lay over what was supposed to be six hours in Waikiki, or... And then my flight from Waikiki got delayed. I'm like, yeah, I can do another six here. That's cool. Right? That's cool. That's not a bad place to have a layover for sure. As long as you have enough time to leave the airport and go fucking yeah, no, I mean, hang was, out on the beach and just explore. Oh, I, I didn't do much exploring. Like, I ended up at like a hotel that was beachfront. and like just Yeah, that's, that's, that's enough exploring. That's what I meant. Like just find a fucking place that has food and the beach and you're good. Yeah, I literally just brought my iPad, 
was reading and just drinking tropical drinks and like, oh my god, that's like, so nice. Like this is a rad layover. This is a that's dope like way to end even, my vacation. That's not even like a layover. It's like a mini vacation before you go home. Yeah, that's what it is. That was wonderful. That's great. I and this is that. when I still had status with the airline, so I got bumped up to a fucking first class on the way back yes. to the states. I'm like, perfect. This is because oh, you know the likelihood of getting bumped up to business class on an international is pretty low. It happens, and it happened. Well, but since it was, <laughs> since Hawaii is a domestic, I oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. I'm like oh yeah I'll lay over in Hawaii and huh interesting. Like take my long layover, get possibly bumped up to first class. Did like it was a good. Good choice. It's a good ending to a good vacation. Good choice. I like it. I want to go back, but I was also kind of disappointed. Like, oh, this tropical paradise is still definitely America. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, you don't like to something. watch try new things. I get it. <laughs> yeah. No, I know you love all that. It's cool. No, um, but you know what? Yeah, I kind of I kind of get what you're saying with that because at one point I kind of felt like I'm like, we're in Hawaii, but I don't really feel like we're in Hawaii because – like you said, obviously, it's still, like, America or whatever. So it was very touristy where we were. It's like, there's a goddamn cheesecake factory. God Actually, damn. we did go eat there. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Uh, we totally went to uh, we totally went to a cheesecake factory. But um, but I totally get what you're saying because at one point I did feel like I was like, I fucking love this one in Hawaii. But since I'm like, maybe we should have gone like we went to Honolulu, we went to Waikiki, we stayed in Waikiki, but we should have taken like a few days to go explore like the other side of the island where it's not so touristy and all that. And then I probably would have felt more like a vacation or more of like a tropical Hawaii getaway than what we had, even though what we did have was like amazing and it was great and I loved it. Um, but I do understand what you're saying. Like I totally get what you're saying. I landed in this tropical paradise. I'm like, oh, yeah, that is uh, definitely is, a cheesecake factory. Yes. There's the gap. Was, cool. Yeah. <laughs> definitely still in America. God uh, damn it. Yeah, it's great, though. Well, and especially after coming from, like, landing from Tokyo. It's like, Tokyo is so fucking different. That's Sorry, so audience. Cool. I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. I know how much you love when I get into fucking, oh, I want to go back to Japan so bad. I do this all the fucking time. I, <sighs> it's been fucking five years since I've been to Japan. and See, like it's time to go. They won't last. They won't last in. Oh, just kidding. If Japan will let you in, and that's a big fucking if right now, even oh, vaccinated, crazy. it's like a 14-day fucking quarantine. Oh, regardless if you're vaccinated or having a COVID, a negative test? Correct. Oh, wow. I mean, not that I was going to fly there anytime soon, but that is, that's interesting. That's cool to know. Yeah. A lot of Asia is taking it much more fucking seriously than we are. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. We suck, but okay. Yeah. Korea is the same way. They're like, eh, we may let you in for official business, but 14-day quarantine. That makes sense. Good for you guys. Like, I, I want to go back to Japan. I want to go to Korea, but I, I can't afford the time out of the world to. Yeah, for those two weeks plus, like, being. Yeah, that's the too Yeah, crazy. the cost is out of pocket to that's, fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. So it's like, you're like, what? This is. Cool. Insane. I'm paying for two weeks of the hotel to uh, just enter. To hang out in my room. I mean, it'd be one thing of like. I remotely could do a ton of editing work. Like, okay, I'm just going to hit it hard for no, two weeks. Oh, that still isn't even worth well, it. Well, but then I'd go out and like do stuff. But you can't. For, you have to wait those two weeks. It's not worth it. No, and I agree. I'm just, I'm trying to make up horrible justifications you're, in my head. Like, I was about to say that. You're just trying to find like an excuse or a way to work around it, but it's just not. It's just no, not. No. It makes no sense. No, it does not make sense to hop a fucking 12 plus hour flight to sit in the hotel room for. Matt, what is wrong with you? No, never. No, don't do that. Would you never do like one of those long ass flights to Asia? You know what? I would love to go to um I would love to go to Tokyo actually. I would love to go to Japan because I want to go to the Tokyo Disney. So I think that's the only reason why I'd want to go. Did I ever show you the picture of like the Disney store in Tokyo? No, you're gonna have to. Yeah, it's insane. It's a I'm giant like black jealous. tower. Yeah, no, that sounds awesome. So I mean like I would be willing to go to it um over there so I can go to the Disneyland over there. But I know that. I don't think I'd be able to sleep for like a week before and not just from like excitement because like, oh my God, we're going over there, but because I have to sit on a plane for that long. So I just think like it'd be great, but it'd be like horrifying at the same time. Yeah. Maybe when you do it, save up the money and like get the business class seats, the ones that were climbing into a full bed. But still, I need like, I don't know. I just need to be put out for those 12 hours. 
Well, <laughs> it's a lot easier to be put out when you got a bed to lie on. Right? I know. Oh, man. But yeah, that would be amazing. bottomless mimosas when you get on the plane. Right? I'd be like, I don't really drink, but I'm going to just drink everything right now because I need to make it to yeah, I made, make I, it. I made the mistake of a lot of mimosas on the first one and like woke up like acid reflux halfway through the flight. Like, say, like, why oh, did I do this all this orgy? That's horrible. That sounds so, I feel like that just making it so much worse. Oh, it was a great idea at first. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying mimosas when I got on the I'm plane. I'm sure. You were like stoked and you're like, fuck, why did I do that? Like, yeah, drink it. And then like halfway through the flight, like. The wrong drinks. Oh. I'm like, oh, God. Why? That was a lot of orange juice. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I, I do that? I don't know why. I can like actually feel it right here, right now. <laughs> oh, that was a I lot totally of I totally can feel it right now. Oh. I should have just drank the cheap champagne without the orange juice. I just start burping now, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bottomless mimosas are always a good idea until they're not. Until they're not. It's so fucking true. Oh, gross. Whoever's idea was it like, oh, yeah, we will get people into our bar or restaurant with fucking dirt cheap orange juice and like bottom tier champagne. So true, though. It's so fun, but it's like, ugh, afterwards. Very ugh. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a couple Sunday fun days where it's just like, oh, that was a mistake all the fuck around. (laughs) Nope very nope <laughs> you're like i'm a responsible adult these days i don't i i really am it's so crazy i was just talking to my uh stepmom about that last night we're like they're like you've changed so much i'm like i know it's weird <laughs> oh i know like i think one of the first time we hung out like you were still a bartender i i knew i was well, a well, yeah sir i worked at the bar yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah oh my god no yeah even then like i feel like i've changed i yeah it's I always say, like, oh, I, fa- I changed so much after I had my human. But, like, not necessarily. I changed with a lot within the last few years because I already had my human um, when I had met you and I, you know, entered industry or whatever. So I've changed so much from then. There's days that I, like, be like, holy fuck, I did that. And those things are like, shit. And now I can't even, like... Can't even remotely think of doing or like doing anything remotely close to anything of that. It's like it's so insane. But you are absolutely correct. In the time we've known each other, I've seen like the It's so like, yeah. Because you were at the like the tail end of like still being a bit of a party or like when we first hung yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and still then, partied like, a little bit. And then it's just like And now I'm just like, it's seven o'clock. We have to leave wherever we are because we have a schedule. I have to be in bed by this time because I have to do this, I have to do that. And it's so fucking annoying. But that's how my brain works nowadays. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, hey, I'm going to be at the you know this decibel beer metal fest all weekend. And you're like, that. what's that? I'm like, I'm like oh, my God. You, you don't even know about, about like a big metal show? That's no, weird. Oh, yeah. No, I had no idea. I was like, well, that's cool. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll see you on Monday morning. It's just like. Have fun. Be safe. Mind blown. I'm like, Lily Lane doesn't know about a big fucking metal show in town. Like. I know, I know. It's, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize to myself and to everyone. It was a good time. It was a good time. I had, I had a lot of fun, especially because we were in my buddy Eddie from the Rock and Roll Beer Guy podcast. I was doing his production for him. Oh, cool. And he was interviewing a bunch of the bands, but awesome. We were in the brewery room, and the brewers were just like, "Yeah, have free beer." I'm like, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it was, that sounds super cool. It wasn't until like. I got back here Saturday night just fucking trashed. Like, <laughs> uh, I've been like, oh, I've been drinking free beer all day. I'm <laughs> like, I need to sleep. Yeah. Uh, Ordered some Thai food, kind of passed out in the chair for a little eat. while. I need to sleep in your shower, but I can't function. I'm just going to lay here. <laughs> it's one of those things. Yeah, it was definitely one of those moments because some of those beers, like, fucking creeped up. It's like, oh, that oh, was I 9%. Per- yeah. That shit was 9% by alcohol. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It was good times. Uh, Friday night converged did all of Jane Doe. So you had you. So it was a whole Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. Uh, just Friday, Saturday, but oh, just kidding. Well, that's cool. Yeah, got yeah. to recover yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you're like it's Sunday time to time to rest up, have more steak for breakfast, and nah. hydrate. Hydrate and Roscoe's chicken and waffles for breakfast yesterday. Oh, I've been there once, and like I wasn't totally a fan. I love me some waffles. Like, I fucking love waffles. But I was not a fan of their waffles. I mean, they're just kind of like waffles. They're not like, oh, my God, waffles. No, but I would think if your fucking name is in your 
name, it says waffles, that it's going to be better than just a waffle. You'd think. But no. I mean, a Denny's waffle is way better than a fucking Roscoe's waffle. Oh, shots fired. Shots it really fi- is. Shots fired. Uh, though, wait, wait, let me take this. Well, I don't really have to take it back. But <laughs> waffle, there's no longer waffles at Denny's. But when Denny's had waffles, and I had them because I always did when we'd go to Denny's, I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than the Roscoe's waffle. I have only had Roscoe's once, though, so maybe they were having an off day, or maybe my palate was having an off day. <laughs> I love the fact that you're like, you can't prove me wrong. The menu item I'm talking about no longer exists. No, it exists. really doesn't, though. And that's why I was like, wait, people are going to... No, because there's going to be that one person's like, they don't sell waffles at Denny's. And I'll be like, you're right. Not anymore. But they did. Obviously, Roscoe's won the war then if they're still serving waffles and Denny's isn't. Yeah, but maybe it's like a COVID thing and they'll come back. Because you know how some restaurants have just like lowered or minimized their menu? So it could be that. I'm hoping it's that. Because I love their tasty waffles. See, I haven't eaten at Denny's willingly in a long time. I know. It's just one of those things that, like, it's super close to our house. Um, and very, very, very rarely, I mean, I mean, rarely, like, once, maybe twice a year we have Denny's. <laughs> but I mean, like, my human wants. Sometimes we'll be like, we go to breakfast at Denny's, and I'm like, oh, okay, sure. And then we'll go. But, um, but yeah, the last time we went was like a few months ago and there was no waffle and I was so bummed because all I wanted was the fucking waffle. That's why I agreed to it and there was no fucking waffle. And so, like, yeah. Sorry, human. We got to go somewhere else. Yeah, no, she ate. It was fine. I was like, I'm not leaving anymore. I waited my 20 minutes for this damn table. I'm getting whatever the fuck else is here, which was like gross and... Yeah, some greasy grand, sl- grand slam or some shit. I don't even know what I had, but I was like so bummed. I was like, I'm spending stupid money. We could have just got to McDonald's and it would have been so much yummier. <laughs> but yeah. that, was, that was my rant about Denny's the other day. Well, and honestly, Roscoe's. I don't know how I don't know how Denny's stays in business. I don't. But you know what? The reason why they do is because it's everyone knows Denny's. Like, hey, do you want to go to Denny's? All the families, you got your fucking three, four kids, mom, dad. Let's go to Denny's, and it's like just what you do or IHOP. See, IHOP's better than Denny's. I would go to IHOP if it was close to our house, but IHOP and. It's not close. Like, Denny's is, like, literally five minutes away from our house. If IHOP was five minutes away, we'd probably go to IHOP over Denny's. Like, of the late night, always open fucking diner chains, it goes, in California, Norm's, IHOP, Denny's. I remember we used to go to Norm's sometimes in the morning for breakfast when I was really little with my dad. I like my mom. I remember that. But it because that also wasn't very close to our house. It was, like, a little bit further out. But, yeah, fuck, dude. I haven't gone to IHOP in like that. I can't tell you. Like it's been fucking like forever. Maybe now I have to just go see if they. But do they have waffles? Because it's the international casa of pancakes. I mean, they were the international house of burgers for like thirty seconds there. Were they? Did you not hear about that shenanigans? No. Yeah, they they changed the P what? to a B for a second. Really? Yeah. That's so weird. And it was just like a weird marketing play. And, like, my favorite was the Wendy's Twitter just roasted them on it. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Someone, like, tweeted at them, like, are you worried about IHOP getting into the burger? They're like, they can't even do pancakes. Why are we worried about their burgers? That's amazing. I had no idea. That's pretty funny. Does IHOP do waffles? They have to. I mean, not that I'm going to go, but still. Oh, yeah. They have to have have waffly nose. IHOP sweet cream waffles are available in three varieties. I just want a Berries and cream Belgian. Or berries and cream Belgian. Uh, yeah, there's three varieties. Yeah, I I'm, not, want, I'm not gonna open up the link. Oh, to I like, just want to uh, see. I'm I only I don't like toppings. I just want a regular plain Belgian waffle. I don't want any toppings, any fruits, or any sour sour cream. Why would I say sour cream? Uh, whipped cream. Sour cream. On I a want waffle. sour cream. Sour cream and chives. Um, a, a savory waffle. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not into. I just want a regular waffle with a little bit of syrup, and I'm stoked. I'm I want satisfied. like a layer of butter in each square, and then a layer of syrup on top of that. Yeah, I don't really like butter on either pancakes or waffles. No. Eh, more for me. <laughs> I was gonna sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Okay. Uh, 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 no sneezy. No sneeze. Yay, no sneeze. It'll just randomly like just pop out later. I'll be like, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> just be in the car. Just, ah. I'll be like, ah, sorry, guys. Okay. I'm trying to drive. Oh, man. But, yeah, Denny is like, even back in the day, back in the Midwest, it's like, 
Oh no, Denny's is the last choice. Except but you guys have like, or back in what? Like Chicago, we we also had like fucking Perkins and. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I've heard of like Waffle House, but I've never been to a Waffle House. Okay, so Waffle House. Do you guys have a Waffle House? No, because we're too far north. Oh, I don't know where Waffle House is, but I've they're, heard they're of Waffle They're in the house. south. For oh, okay. some For some fucking reason, Phoenix, Arizona has a goddamn Waffle House. That is like the nearest Waffle House to us. Okay. Is it good, though? Have you ever been? Oh, yeah. I have. Is it delicioso? It is. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is greasy. It is greasy. But it's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's also dirt fucking cheap. Huh. And open 24-7. Like, the... In it's like one of the national weather, weather services judges how bad the weather is based on if the Waffle House is open or not. Shut up. Yeah, that's the thing. That's fucking hilarious. Because like I've always heard of Waffle House. I just we don't have one here, so I I've never been. I've never experienced the Waffle House. It's just a crazy thing about how they're all set up because it's like all diner, but like the kitchen's open and like next to the seating. Yeah. So it's like they're all long. And when you walk in, it's like all the scenes right there. And then there's counter. Yeah. And like the kitchen is directly behind and then the you counter. See it right before, got it. Like, so your server just kind of walks up to you from the inside. The, I yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I feel like that's something like you see in movies or like at the local diner and you can like see that. Yeah. That's it's, cool. it's just how much, you know, it's always there. It's always there. Ah, so what I was talking about, the Waffle House Index. The Waffle House Index is an informal metric named after the Waffle House West restaurant chain. And to determine the effect of a storm and likely scale of assistance for disaster recovery. It was coined by a member of FEMA. Basically, if the Waffle House closes, FEMA's like, yeah, we're probably going to have to respond to that. Oh, <laughs> my God. That's so crazy. Well, that's pretty funny. It's wild. Because you will see some crazy shit in the Waffle House. Because it's in the South. Like, the only thing that's open, like, 24-7 is Waffle House. So when you leave the bar in like places like Atlanta or Charlotte, like everyone goes to the fucking Waffle House. That's pretty funny. That's pretty hilarious. I like the Waffle House just because they're always ready to serve you a Waffleino. Yeah, they're and the, their waffles are not amazing. Like, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> are like, they better than Roscoe's? They're comparable. But you like Roscoe's, so mm. Uh, I like Roscoe's on occasion. It's not like, oh, my God, I'm going to Roscoe's to get a waffle. I'm like, I'm here to get some fried chicken and a waffle. And a waffle, I guess. I like. I don't know anyone who's ever gone to Roscoe's to be like, I'm just getting waffles. Yeah, that makes sense. But, like, you want it to be tasty, too. I mean, because the fried chicken that they do is, like, an actual piece of fried chicken, like, with a bone in it. It's not like a chicken strip. Right. Like a chicken t- See, I don't like bone-in chicken. So I already hate everything about Roscoe's. I like their cornbread. I think they had a cornbread. I'm they sure they do. Cornbread there. I'm one sure day. they do. It's a, it's a soul food restaurant. I'm sure they have cornbread. I think I did have cornbread there one day, and I liked it. I like cornbread. Cornbread's really good. Not bone in. Just not bone in cornbread. <laughs> that's what it's but yeah, that's my take on food. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do you not eat anything that is bone in? Um, I don't know. What normally has a bone? Ribs. I mean, I'll eat ribs. Yeah, I don't have a problem with ribs. All right. I don't have a problem with ribs. Bone it's just steak? The, it's just the chicken that's like, I don't know why. I've never been a fan. Like, will you eat a whole, like, whole fish? Oh, no. It has to be like, it has to, it, I can't eat the fish and you have to like, no, uh-uh, not like that. No, thank you. Nope. Don't like it. And then okay. it has a little eyeball. Nope. It's weird. All right. Fish is weird. I like fish, but I just don't like seeing the actual fish. You're just <laughs> like, like, I like the- <laughs> I don't like the fish carcass. Yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, no. I mean, steak's different, but I don't really like like. Yeah, it's just a chicken. Something about it is just. But I'll get like the I'll buy like a full chicken, like the roasted chickens at like Ralph's or Costco, and I'll just cut off like the chicken breast, and that's the only thing we eat. And the rest I just give to my parents, and I'll be like, okay, you guys can have it because we're done eating our part. <laughs> done picking out its carcass. We're done, and my dad will be like, my dad knows that like. We don't eat the rest, so he's just like, okay, <laughs> we'll That's take like, it. Don't waste it. He's like, don't waste your food. Why do you throw things away? I'm like, because I don't want to eat it. Then bring it to us. Okay, Daddy, sorry. You're right. This is kind of your fault. You raised me. I know. Like, you guys let me be a princess, so. Eh, sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> this is your fault, Dad. This is your doing. You've made me into this monster. 
That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you made me into this princess who wouldn't dare eat chicken off the bone like a peasant. All right. Ew. Like, do you want me to use my hands too? Oh, gross. Oh, this is gross. How dare you? My, my hands are greasy. And I was like, ew, feed it to me. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> oh my god, all like the listeners are like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm boring, guys. I love food and talking about weird shit like that. So You know what? I am having so much oh more. God. I mean, not that I didn't have fun last time you are on the show. I'm having much more fun with this because I didn't remember last time you are on the show. We had to like pause me like, yo, you don't have to porn it up so much. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I don't <laughs> even. I'm still like not porno unless I'm like, I have to be on a porno set. Not that I have to be on a porno set, but you know what I mean? Like, unless I'm on a porno set. Yeah, I, love like being, I love being on porno sets, but um, yeah. Yes, please both, Lily. <laughs> oh, no, no, I fucking, I fucking love doing the pornos. But it's totally like, yeah, it's, you know, it's two different people. But then sometimes, well, that's the thing. Sometimes you don't know how porno people want you to be on the po- on the podcast or like when you're doing an interview or whatever. Like, can I just be like me and whatever happens? Or do you want to specifically only talk about like sexual porno shit? Or can I be like normal? <laughs> uh, let me know when you get to normal. Like, let me know when Shut that happens. Let me know when that happens. This is normal. Oh, for you. <laughs> yes. But yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I totally remember the first episode. Like I don't the first remember. Episode. Yeah, we had to like pause just like, yo girl, like it's cool for you to be you. You don't have to like because you were like you I totally like know. did like the porno voice too. Like I don't even know. I, I know my mind, I think today, my mind today is just so like, oh my god. It's I think it's it's just in such like running errands mode too that I'm like I'm just totally here, but somewhere else at the same time. And it's like responsibilities. It's not even like thinking about work. It's thinking about like, I have to make a dentist appointment. I forgot to make that reservation for this. Oh, shit. I didn't cancel that doctor appointment. The dog's vet appointment is on Wednesday at four. Or is it at five? I have to confirm. Like my brain is just like everywhere. And then I'm like, wait, I'm on a podcast right now. Let me focus on the podcast. Go back to back to here. Come on. And then waffles. <laughs> See, but that's, I'm having fun with it. I hope you're having a good time. I know, no, I'm having a great time. So all of you better be having a good time and enjoying this motherfuckers. Right, right. Yes. This is what it's like when like me and Lily actually hang out. Look, just generally this is more me metal. just being, yeah, normal. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm not on set, so I'm not all porno y. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Thanks, friend. <laughs> so you want to go back to Hawaii, but like, where else do you want to go? Oh, Tokyo, right. Hawaii, like where where do you want to go when it's safe to do so, can do so? Where do I want to travel? Yeah. Um, Somewhere where there's a Waffle House? Fuck. No, since you said they're kind of gross. So I mean, They hit the spot. But but no, I don't know. I feel like if there happens to be a Waffle House store uh, wherever I visit, then maybe I'll be like, hey, we should go check out the Waffle House. But not be like, fuck, we're going to go there as a Waffle House. Uh, but you never know. My mind might change after I try one. Or I'm going to get a text like, that was gross, Slayer. What the fuck? Right? It's like, you're disgusting. How dare you? No, um, let's see. As far as traveling, like I said, okay, so I love traveling, but it's just fucking, I, I hate flying. I get really bad anxiety, and it fucking sucks, and I hate it. But um, I think our next trip, like, uh, the next place we're flying to, or the next place we're going to is back to Disney World. Um, that's the next place we're going. But I kind of want would I love tropical places like anywhere with the beach. Like you were talking, I just want to lay on the beach and tan. I just want to fall asleep and like get sunburned on the beach and just enjoy it. And it's so relaxing. Um, have a snack, a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> have someone bring you out a bagel on a silver a tray out to the yeah, beach. Yeah, so delicious and an ice cold Coca Cola. Um, no fucking Pepsi. No, Coke. no Coke's better than Pepsi forever. Um. But so anywhere like that seems like I would love to go. But the next place after that um, that I'd like to go is because we are like I I love Disneyland and I love going. Um, so I would like for our next Disney trip besides Disney World next year to be at Disneyland Paris. So that's like the next goal for next family vacation. So probably not this coming year, but the year after. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I still want to try and sneak in another Hawaii trip next year. But it's just, I have to get past the whole, even though like going to Florida, it's still five fucking hours. But the just knowing that we're over land and like in case there's an emergency, we can land in a, somewhere. 
not and like plane, when you go to plane, Hawaii. Planes float. It's cool. I know, but do you know what I mean? It's still one of those things that I'm like, there's no like, hold on, we have to stop for some reason because there's a fucking ocean that you have to fly over. So I think that's why it stresses me out a little bit more than flying, well, somewhere else uh, like that. So yeah, but I'm still probably going to try and be brave and try and do another Hawaii trip next You should. Year. You should. I know. I probably will. I'm just going to book it and then I have no choice. <laughs> Statistically... Shut up. I don't even want to hear any. I don't want to hear about any accidents, car accidents or plane droppings, droppings like it's a bird. Uh, <laughs> any Anything like that. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm saying statistically it is much safer than driving. Yes. I don't even want to hear that, though, because I hate everything and everything scares me. So, yeah. So next year we're going to go to Disney World and Hawaii. Nice. Nice. Hopefully. <laughs> Do you ever like think about doing like vacations for just you like adult vacations or? Okay, so I think that's where my anxiety comes from is more so when I fly by myself. Because I'm like, if this plane die, like comes down and I die, then I just left like my child. So I'm like, if I die with my, if it, if I'm with my child and like we're on a plane, we die together, who cares? Like we're dead together. It sounds very morbid, but it is, that is where um, I think it's, I get more anxious when I fly alone than when I'm with her because I know if something happens, she's, <laughs> sounds really fucked up, but we're together, so... And there's that you know what i mean so i think that's why i don't really like planning adult only vacations because of that um and then i just feel bad leaving her behind and then my parents would have to watch her and it's like a whole thing you know so yeah i'm a great mom <laughs> yeah. that's awesome that you're like i want to spend time with my child yeah and i want her to experience all these things you know but yeah, uh, I was talking with my best friend, actually, like, we should do, like, our own thing. But I'm like, I just don't know if I can handle it just without taking my human for, like, a long trip like that. So eventually I'll get over it. Yeah, and eventually uh, your human will become, like, a full-on adult. And, like, yeah, exactly. So once she gets older, I think I'll be like, fuck, I got this. I can do it. And we'll be fine. Yeah, when she's a shitty teenager, you're like. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, my God. Your grandparents get to deal with you now for, like, these two weeks because I have to go lay on the beach and have a bagel. Right. <laughs> I, I, just, I need some time to. <laughs> I, just, I just need some time. So, yeah, that's a, eventually those will happen when I feel comfortable enough and not be overprotective crazy lady it's like mom won't you leave me alone nope <laughs> yeah are you gonna like actually go and see part of like france and like experience paris on top of oh yeah for sure for sure it won't just be we'll go to disney um but yeah i think that we're planning on hopefully maybe doing like 10 days out there i think that's good maybe 10 or uh, my son i'm saying like we should do no less than 10 so probably like a two-week thing so where we can check out the city and we can do all that and then we can do disney um but yeah i think it'll be cool it'll be fun paris is another place where like i did a layover there i need <laughs> yeah i love that how was that layover it was red it was red like for as much as people were like, oh, Parisians are rude to Americans. Like, yeah. No, if you attempt some French first, everyone was super cool. That's cool. Like, I think it's the fucking dumb Americans who are like, what do you mean you don't speak English? I feel like I feel like it would be like that, too. It's like the stupid, like, ignorant people that go visit that give everyone a bad name. Um, but, yeah, I feel like I think we would be OK. You know, yeah. I mean, just learn Like, literally, we. I don't speak French. I, I know a couple French phrases. Yeah. Just, like, enough to survive. Yeah. We can do it. I can do it. I yeah. have a year to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... <laughs> we have a year to learn. Yeah, a lot of it was like, uh, no, parlez-vous français? Parlez-vous anglais? i like, hi. <laughs> and then, I'd probably be like, I'll blow English? No. I'm like, wait, that's Spanish. What? No. And I was like, bonjour. <laughs> I'm just going to hold flashcards up. I mean, to it's me. easy enough to learn a couple phrases. Yeah, and also, I think we'll be okay. Pro trip... Uh, Pro tip, I can talk. It's Ooh. early. Pro tip for everybody: Google Translate works offline. That's good to know. Also, I feel like I feel like yeah, we have um, over a year to go uh, when we're planning on going. So I feel like we would try and like learn a few phrases. You know what I mean? So I'm excited, but yeah, it's just these fucking flights, man. Being on the plane, regardless, just give me anxiety, and I hate it. But I do want to travel some more, and hopefully that is in our future. Well, I'm sure as you, you know, do longer flights more and more. You know, I'll get more comfy. Yeah, I exactly. Know. You'd be like, 
oh, this ain't shit. Like, I know. I was thinking about this earlier today. Like, the one of the first like flights I did by myself as a teenager, like, flew down to Houston to visit, visit my sister from Chicago. It's like, that's not even a super long flight, but I had such anxiety about it. Like, I'm still smoking at that point. Like, I'm holding onto a cigarette the whole time. Like, <gasps> flight attendant's like, you can't light that. I'm like, I know. This just makes me feel comfortable holding onto it. Sir, put it away. And they were fine. They're like, as long as you're not going to light it, we don't care. Yeah. That's so crazy. It was the 90s. It was a different time. It's a different era. <laughs> but now it's just like, oh, I sleep on planes. I... No, I know it's super chill. It's just like, it's a thing that, it's a silly thing. It's well, just it's just an un, like, the, your, it takes up your mind a minute. Because like, it's kind of an unnatural thing. It's like, oh, That's crazy. I am infinitely up in the air. Like, I am. It's if, fucking crazy to think about. Yeah, it's like, if this cabin was not pressurized, I could not breathe up here. Yeah, and they're like, put your mask on. Yeah, let alone the fucking falling out of the sky part it's like fuck. yeah no it's just too much it's too much to handle but i still uh get on planes and i still travel obviously I have to do it for work <laughs> I had to do it for work and every time i have to fly to vegas or whatever for work i'm like because you know it's always a little bumpy there's always a little turbulence regardless when you go to vegas and i'm like every time i'm like i should have just told them i was gonna fucking drive i do this every time i'm like Next time, I'm just going to tell them I'm going to drive every fucking time, and I still fly. Yeah, that's a wise move. <laughs> that is a 45-minute flight. I know. It's the dumbest thing, and, like, you know, it's it would be dumb for me to just drive, but it's just this whole, like, five minutes total of turbulence that are like, God damn it, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I should have just drove. I do this every time, and I do it every time, and I do that, and I'm like, and then I land, I'm like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> See, the next time you get stuck on the 15 for like 10 hours, right? you're like, that's the thing that I'm like, God damn it, I should have just fucking flown. Right? I would have been there hours ago. Mm -hmm. I could have, in the time, sometimes when you get stuck on the 15, you could have been flown to Vegas, done your seat, and been I'd back. I'd been back home. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Like, I'm still traveling to Vegas. Fuck. Mm hmm. I feel you. It's true. But I'll get over it eventually. 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 Yeah, no, no. Just got to get some more long flights under your belt. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. But they were not bad. Like, the long flights I've done were fine. Because I went to Prague twice to work. So I shot in Prague twice. And then we went to London. So those are both long flights. And it's just... Did you, were they direct or, were, like, lay over New York? Uh, No, they're pretty much direct. Like the Prague ones, though, uh, I think one was like a stop in. Oh, where did I, I think I stopped in. I don't know where I fucking stopped. Well, there's two different stops. But you were, I was pretty much already there. It was fucking 10 hours already. And then the yeah, other flights probably, were like an hour or 40 minutes. It was just like small little flights. Yeah, you probably had a layover in like Amsterdam or some shit. I'm trying to No, I don't think it is Amsterdam. But it was like fucking far. So it was like pretty much a direct fucking flight. There was Possibly no. Possibly Istanbul? No. I'm I want to say Sweden. Huh. Or not. No. Or is, I don't know. Because, like, the major European hubs are, like, Amsterdam, Istanbul, London. Yeah. No, I went twice, and they were random. It was two random ones. Um, but pretty much, I consider it just direct because I didn't stop here. And it was a whole fucking, like, good 10 hours, 11 before we fucking changed planes and took, like, a 40-minute plane ride to, like, the fucking little airport, I guess, in Prague or whatever. But, I mean, those were fine. Did you get to see Prague at all? I kind of did, but it was also very just stressful because we're in such a tiny little town where they shoot. And so getting an Uber there, it's, like, not even, like, a fucking option. It's, ex it's extremely rare. It was, like, every one... Every like two to three hours, maybe an Uber would show up in on the Uber thing. And the, so the days that the drivers weren't working for the company, you had to hopefully rely on an Uber. And if you didn't have an Uber or the driver, then you kind of got stuck. So it was kind of a hit or miss. But the second time or the first time I was able to go because the driver took us and then we were gone long enough that the driver's like, okay, well, I'll have enough time to pick you guys up because I have all my shit to do during the day. So it worked out and it was nice. I mean... It's okay. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> eh. It's just like, eh. 
It was okay. Fairy tale European city. Yeah. It was cool. It was okay. I mean, like I didn't explore as much as I wanted to. So I think if I would have been able to explore more, I don't like my ac- accommodations were what I wanted. Then it would have definitely made a difference. But when you're working, you only have one day. The next day you're prepping to do a fucking gangbang anal scene. You're not really having as much fun as you would like. You're like, oh, I cannot try all the foods. Here. Yeah, like, I can't do anything. And then I'm stressed that I want to get back at a certain time because I have to prep. So I feel like if it would have been an actual vacation, it would have been a totally different experience. I want to go at some point. I do want to go to Prague. I do. I do. I've not explored that part of Europe. I mean, the part that I, I guess is like the old town or whatever we went, it was so pretty and it was so nice. And that's what I'm saying. If I would have been able to have more time to check that out or check out the other parts, then like for sure, I think I would have been like, oh, this is awesome. This is cool. But knowing that like we're on a time on a time limit and then hoping that the driver got there on time or that we can find a like a correct, the right Uber or Lyft or whatever to take us back, you know, that was like. It kind of keeps you from actually really enjoying everything, you know. So you should go I, check I know it some out. people that go shoot for legal and like book their return flight a couple days later than. Yeah, see, I like to be back. Well, that's my thing too. Like my parents can only watch my humans for so many days, so it's like I try and be gone as little as fucking possible. It's like, okay, fly out today. Once I get there, it's already the next day, seven p.m. I remember that's normally the time we'd land, and then the next morning. 7 a.m. is my call time. You shoot, day off, shoot, day off, shoot. You fly home the next day. I, you're fucking wrecked. You know, like I'm wrecked. But I'm like, oh, I can't fucking do anything, but I need to get back home now. Yeah. So, I mean. That, that, that'd be a lot of penises. Yeah, it's a lot, dude. It's a lot of penises and it's a lot of there's no rest. But, I mean, I'm sure, like, the people that are able to stay longer and extend their trips and actually make a trip, it's funner and, it, you know, you can do more. But I don't have that luxury. Which is fine, but, you know. One day, one day. When- no, I don't really want to go back to, like, I love shooting for legal. They were great. I have nothing negative to say about them. Like, I had a great experience with them, but it's just too much. I can't hang. I, I You know, towards the end, it's like, I'm not even enjoying this anymore. Why book any more scenes with, the, you know what I mean? So, it's like I said, if it's, if they wouldn't be so intense day after day kind of thing. I'd be cool with it, but other than that, I don't. I'm it's like I am a bad. person. I am not. Yeah. <laughs> not trying to cause you work here. Cause you work here. Oh no, you're not at all. Trust me. I'm just. You I, know. I, I think the people just at legal know what, my opinion. I know. I'm pretty sure the people at legal know that they're like. Oh, they know. Oh no, but they're all great. Like I'm. Like I said, I'm thinking about if I did, I'd totally say it. <laughs> but no, like I said, it's just. It's just. You know what you're getting into when you shoot when you go there. You know what I mean? And if you don't, then oh boy. That would be tar- like oh horrific boy. for someone, yes. to, some newbie like, oh, my agent booked me with this. I, feel like, legal I feel like it's kind of happened. Uh, not with me, but <laughs> I feel like it's it kind of happened. So like, I know there's been like, I think it was one girl that I knew personally that I was like, they, I think I talked to someone they knew and I was like, they do know what like it entails going out there and the type of scenes they're going to do. And like, They've already talked to the director to let him know in case they're not okay with it because, you know, I'm like, I can take some pretty hardcore things and it was pretty tough for me. So are they prepared? <laughs> it was one of those things, you know, because you got to watch out and look out because sometimes, you know, unfortunately, you know, there's those girls that I'll just take anything and book anything for money because they need it. And, you know, everyone has their own, you, you do your own thing. It's not my fucking think to judge you do what you have to do but sometimes girls don't know and then they're going to put themselves in a situation that they're not comfortable or had no idea about because they didn't research because they're like oh fuck it's a wow that's how much i'm gonna get paid cool i want to go i'll go and you're like oh shit but i have to have four dicks in my ass at the same time okay fuck (laughs) you know (laughs) it's so it's yeah it's one of those things it's mind-boggling to me the amount of performers who go and do shit and like don't google who they're working for that's yeah even yeah not even just with legal but just in general yeah. just in general shooting with anyone that you shoot for you should try and at least find some information on if you've never worked with that performer you know i like to try and find out a little bit of info if i've never worked with that performer i'll be like hey 
you know, I'll text someone I know that I like whose opinion I trust, you know, and I'll be like, hey, have you ever worked with blah, blah, blah? Oh my God. Yeah. They're so great. Or, oh, dude. I'll be like, Ugh. and then I'll make the choice of, hey, sure. I'll shoot with them. Or, hey, do you think there's any way to change the male talent? Or I don't, you know, I'm comfortable for this scene or whatever. And just go from there. I feel like you kind of have to do your homework when, you know, like the intensity of like our, like what we do is involved. Like you should kind of try at least. I 100% agree. <laughs> well, and it's also like if you give a bad performance because your talent and your co-star is not great, yeah, that negatively reflects on you. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. I feel like that's happened, too, with me. It was like I sh- remember I shot a scene with a girl. Like, it was a girl-girl scene, and I love shooting. Okay, so I totally – I love penis more than vagina. I prefer dicks than vagina. But I love threesomes, like, uh, with another girl. And, like, it's hot. But I still love, like, girls. And I'll love eating pussy. And I love eating booties. And I fucking love all that. Um, I'll still do it because I do like it. I just prefer dicks. But um, but I, I was shooting a scene with the girl-girl-only performer. And it was, like, the hardest, worst girl-girl scene I've ever done. And I have – I don't think I've ever left set feeling like I sucked – I sucked, you know, and I remember leaving and I even remember texting the director saying, I'm sorry, I felt like I did a horrible job because this performer would not let me do anything to her. So, you know, it's those girls that aren't really into girls. And they're it, like probably just a girl girl performer because they have a boyfriend exactly, at home. Exactly. Who's like, no, you can't have exact, a dick on film. That's, that's ex- my pussy. That's exactly. And I was just like, she's not looking at my vagina. I'm trying to look her vagina and eat her ass, but she's like, go here, do this. And it's like, uh, I was getting so frustrated. And you know me, I'm pretty fucking chill. Like, I'm pretty fucking chill. And as I, long as no one tries to serve you any meat with, on the bone. Oh, yeah, of course. Duh, or gross waffles. But, like, I'm a super fucking chill. I will work with you in any fucking way. I will check in to make sure you are okay. And I will ask, oh, shit, did I do something? To, like, or whatever, dude. I'm super chill. I'm not going to judge you. I don't give a fuck. I just want to do a good scene and have fun. And, like, I've never, I just felt so awkward. And I'm telling you to the point where I text the director when I got home or on my I or when I even got in the car, I don't even think I waited till I got home to be like, I am so sorry if that sucked because I just couldn't get anything from her. And they're like, no, we know. We're sorry. Thank you. And I'm like, okay, because I just feel like I I sucked. Cause you know what I mean? I was like, this is the fucking worst. And it really is the worst. Because I feel like great people are gonna see this scene and be like, Lily sucks, but it's like it wasn't me. Well, and just the <laughs> fickle fucking fans who like Yeah, exactly. Yes. They're like, oh. But thank God for good editing. <laughs> right. Right. Like, <laughs> thank goodness for good editing to make it kind of look hot. <laughs> oh, that is the like, magic of editing. Right. No, it's so true though. You're like, ooh, Jesus. Yeah, I just had to edit uh some content for someone who like they were shooting in front of a fucking window in a hotel and they're like, can you make sure to edit out the people in the background? I'm like, shut up. <gasps> that sounds crazy. In the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that hard when I was like, oh yeah. But it I- sounds super hard and complicated. I don't know how to edit those. So I don't know. <laughs> well, in, at first I'm like, oh, that's going to be a goddamn nightmare. And then I'm like, oh no, I'm just going to be punching in real tight on the genitals. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, hey, there's someone walking in the background. <laughs> You're like, vagina. Like, oh, that is a face right in a vagina. You're like, yeah, that's funny though. Like, yep, that we're going to just scale that up 250%. There are no people in the background. <laughs> it's all like pixelated. <laughs> no, no, I think we're good cameras. And- I know. I'm just kidding. I just imagine. Oh, no, no. So there were a couple of points where I was like punched. I'm like, oh, I can't punch it in that much. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, a couple of them like, so there's going to be some real obvious cuts here because. Yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> you're like, sorry, dude. Like, it's one or the other. Can't have both. You should have told your shooter not to like have it at an angle where you can see right out the window and people fucking walk into the background. That's funny, though. Sometimes the magic of editing. You just got to, you know. Thank you, editors. <laughs> gotta do what you got to do, right? Yes. Love it. Porno magic. It's yes, the porno magic. It's like no, no. I mean, yes, people are going having marathon sex sessions, but they are not having the real like what you see on film marathon sex sessions. Or are they? Oh shit! Am I not supposed to like? <laughs> do, 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 do. You never know. I mean, I do. I know. I mean, I don't. Know. I don't either. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe some are. Maybe some aren't. Maybe, 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 maybe the world may never know. 
What is that like the lo- lollipop? Yeah, 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 the tootsie pop. You're showing your age a little. Except I don't. I don't give a fuck. I'm I 34 years old. Woo. <laughs> Firmly in the milf territory. I told, dude. I have been a milf. For a while now. And I love it. Yeah, these girls are sometimes like, I don't want to be categorized as a, a cougar or milf. I'm like, I don't care. As long as I'm comfortable in the scene and I'm getting a paycheck, call me whatever you'd like to call me. I agree. <laughs> and what's hilarious is like watching some companies market some performers. Like I've seen like, scrolling through, it's like, how's the same performer like, you know, teen and milf, like, and depending on who's right. But description. you know what? It's funny. I don't do teen stuff, obviously, but like, there are times where I'm someone's stepsister. So that's totally not milf anymore. Stepsister, right. just already, you're someone way younger than milf. You're not even, but I'm like, I mostly shoot milf stuff, which obviously that's, I'm 34 years old. I have big fake boobs. I don't look fucking 18 or 19. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm aware of that. Um, so it's funny when sometimes like you're, oh, that's your stepbrother or your, your brother or your whatever, you're friends with someone and you're fucking their brother. Or so you know what I mean? So where I'm close to age and I'm like, but I was a MILF yesterday. Like, is that okay? <laughs> there's no continuity in pornography. There is not. And it's just so funny. I'm like, oh, I was fucking my stepbrother today. Tomorrow I'm so fucking my stepson. That's great. I mean, it could be both. <laughs> I know. I don't even know <laughs> at this point. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it is pretty funny. I've talked about this before. Like, uh, the you know, when I was in Juice Love Black Caca, everyone was playing my daughters. And one of those performers we used to date, and she's only like four years younger than me. It's, that's fucking hilarious. I know. That's what's so funny. You're like, like what? Well, it's like, I, or they're like, literally, like, my stepson is literally two years younger than me, <laughs> or whatever, right? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> uh, I'm sure in some cases, might be older. Yeah, right. Or like, <laughs> we're the, so we have the same birthday. <laughs> it's so funny. But I mean, hey, it, you know, whatever. I don't care. I'm comfortable with it. As long as the other performer's comfortable with it, everyone's consenting to it and we're getting paid. I have no issue. How much longer do you think the, the, the step trend is going to continue? Dude, it has been here forever. I don't see it going anywhere because everyone loves it because we just keep shooting it. Well, and, but I and also, by everyone loves it means like the fans, not the performers. <laughs> well, I honestly feel like, do the fans actually love it or are they just like, oh, those are two hot people. I don't really care about the scenario. I don't even know. I don't know. There's just such weird scenarios and like, I feel like people are, fo- I mean, okay, so, well, this is another thing too. So let's say, uh, I'll call my OnlyFans. I'll get people that will message and be like, hi, mommy. And they want a mommy role play and it's all that. And I'm like, okay, do they really like that and they're into it and they've seen my videos or they're into it because they have seen my videos? You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is what she's into, so I'm going to do this thing. Yeah, and it's like, it's the same thing. Like, so are people really into the incest thing or are they only into it because that's the only thing that's available right now? So what is it? Which one is it? And we keep producing the incest step, or I guess not, I I don't know if it's incest. Yeah, that, sorry, that. Um, the step whatever's so is it are people just into it because that's what we just keep fucking feeding them and then if we start feeding something else that's gonna be the new thing like what the fuck is it but i would love to find something new and not be someone's stepmom all the time or someone's stepsister but like i said if everyone's consenting to it i have no problem it would just be fun to play something different sometimes right like don't want to be typecast as just a stepmom or the <laughs> stepsister jesus oh jeez, can i just be a normal girl that likes a guy Jeez. Can't we just kick it old school? Can't I just fuck a delivery guy? Right. Jeez, I haven't had fucked as a pizza delivery guy or anything. I mean, it would have to be like a DoorDasher so these days. Oh, yeah, right. Like, it's your <laughs> Uber driver. That's so funny. But yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, porno. We love you. Oh, I mean, that would actually be a really a funny scenario. Like, yo, know, they, they ring the doorbell with your food and you're like, oh, come in. Like, oh, but it was supposed to be a contact free delivery. It's like, because oh, it's COVID. Yeah. That's so. It's, oh, no. It's definitely not going to be contact free. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> that's going to be my next uh, uh, for content. Oh, we'll do that. I'll be like, bring me food. And I'll just be like, oh, no. So they're dropping off in the door. I'll be like, no, come in. Oh, it's contact. No, it's okay. And just like fucking just jump on them right there. I, That'll be good. Yeah. There thanks, you go. Thanks I'm, just giving away, <laughs> I'm just giving away <laughs> ideas on the podcast yes. yet again. You are wonderful. Just give them away. Thank you. Dude, I guess just give me a shout out while you're fucking the dude. I don't know. I know. I'm just <laughs> well, since you can edit things, I'm just gonna send you the video. Right? Can you just edit a little caption? This was Matt Slayer's idea. 
original concept. Matt's like, it'll just be a huge text. Like It'll be perfect. It'll be like, right across your tits as you're riding. Just <laughs> right. It's going to be like the sensor bar that I'm going to post on like fucking on Twitter. So like not to give too much away. So it's censoring like my vagine and my boobs. Perfect. I love it. See? More ideas. You're fucking ridiculous. More ideas. More ideas. I'm here to help. I'm absolutely here to help. Thank you. Have you been running into like the fucking shadow banning and all that bullshit? Dude, I've been shadow banned since day one. Like no joke. So you, my Instagram's like, this is my third profile. I'm stuck at like 11,000. It won't go up from there because it's like my third fucking account. I don't even know who else. To f- I don't even know. There's probably like 10 million other Lily Lanes that are not even Lily Lane that everyone's following. Um, my count on Twitter has not moved in ages. Like not even joking. It's my second Twitter also. So like that hasn't even moved. How did you get yourself banned from Twitter? You know what? It was a long fucking time ago. It was probably like almost five years ago. And I didn't even know that could happen. But apparently it happened. And I was like trying to fight it. And I guess it's because I my profile picture or my banner had some nudity in it or something. I don't, I don't even know because like I don't even remember getting a warning. I just remember just one. It's like, okay, your profile picture is gone. Is bad. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. And then... I think I changed it in a bit. It still got deleted. And then I tried fighting and they're like, sorry, it's lost. You're just dealing with it. Make a new one. So I had to make my head and make a new one. And I feel like it's so fucking shadow banned. Like it's ridiculous. And same with the Instagram. Like I said, I have like, this is my third, third or fourth one. Um, it's my third one. I have like 11,000 followers and it just doesn't grow. And I get like no engagement. It's the fucking worst. It's annoying and yeah, fucking censorship, man. It's the worst. It absolutely is. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, you're not breaking the rules on Instagram. Nope. I w- and that's the thing. Like, if I was breaking the rules, I'd be like, okay, should I broke him? I get it. But like, after being told, so like the first one, I understood, I think I was like, okay, with, I get it. Because that's when they were super cracking down. And I was doing like super like risque pictures. So it was like on the border. So I was like, oh, that fucking sucks. I can kind of see why it happened. But my second one, I was not because it had already happened the first time. So it already had started growing again. I was like, oh, this is so good. Everyone, it was like pretty established. It was awesome. And I was not, I was doing like not as risque as the other ones, but it was still like, me in a bikini, me in a bra and panties, but it wasn't like nipple showing or right. or pubes or something. It wasn't like that. And it just got taken away. And I was like, but I didn't even fucking do anything. They're like, oh, but you posted your OnlyFans link. It's like, so is everyone else in the fucking world. I know, I know. And I'm like, and the pictures I'm showing aren't even like anything, you know, so that's what got me banned from that one. And I'm like, look at the fucking pictures. Like, oh, okay. And then, of course, like, there's those girls who are like, I can get you someone to get your account back, but you have to pay them $5,000. Are you going to, oh, what? No, I'm not going to pay someone fucking $5,000 to get my account back. So it's a fucking scam. People, like, dudes, I feel like the people that do work at Instagram are pulling the accounts. They're deleting them. And they know that some, like, performers are willing to pay that. So then they're making money off. They're like, they'll make five grand off this chick because I deleted her account. Then we'll just post it back up. No problem. And I just made five grand. Like, it's a fucking scam. That's the way I see it. It definitely could be. It definitely could be. You know? Remind me when we're off air. Um, You actually know somebody who can actually restore accounts these days. You do? You do. Oh, no. Well, the okay. So the girl that I knew told me I know someone. So I messaged that someone. And they're the one that's like, well, it'll be 5,000 this or that. And I was like. I, I, when we're off air, I'm going to have to check to see if it's the same person. I don't even know because I think I just deleted it. Like the whole conversation. I was like, I don't want this fucking grossness. Like, ew, you're a scammer. But um, I don't know who it is. We'll see. We can check off air. But yeah, I was like, that's fucking wrong. Yeah. Yeah. that That's fucked. <laughs> And it's fucked that like, oh, hey, Facebook's allowing people to like, oh, profit, profiteer like that. It, yeah, yeah. It's it's really, it's, it's fucking nonsense. So yeah, I am shadow banned. <laughs> Back to the original question. And they got people over a fucking bra because your livelihood's tied to that shit. Yep, it fucking sucks. But I also don't have $5,000 just to throw away to get my Instagram away. Right, and Back. what's to stop them from just doing it again? Exactly. 
That's exactly the next point. I was like, and let's say if I did have $5,000 or I was dumb enough to pay the $5,000. And then two, three months later, sorry, actually, we thought we could restore, but we did for a few months. Now it's gone. Sorry. I mean, you'd be much better off spending that money on trademarking your name. It's just fucking retarded. Oh, yeah. And then like all the people like the the fake accounts that no one deletes and then everyone falls for and like they're so dumb. Yeah, because once you have a trademark, you could definitely send cease and desist to those companies. And be like, That's "Yo, I own this trademark. Fucking... You need to tell people to turn, you get rid of these fucking fake accounts." Yeah, because it's it's the whole thing. I know the performers that do have like the blue check mark on Instagram. Every last one of them had to trademark their names first. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It's pretty fucking crazy. So do something about Instagram. Don't be so fucked or Facebook. Whoever owns they're, everyone, they don't care. Cause... Of course they don't. No, but yeah. But yeah, you guys suck. Watch, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna like. We're gonna be done here. I'm gonna get home and go check my profile. And it's gonna be deleted. No, no, this isn't live. It'll be a couple. Oh, yeah, weeks. okay. Give me a few weeks. You're right. I'll couple text, weeks. I'll, but- when you text me, hey Lily, our episode's out. Text you like, okay, awesome. Next day, hey. So remember what I told you? Yup. It's all your fault, Matt. It's your fault. I ain't doing the show again. Never. But yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Not cool. It's really not. It's really not. It's really fucked up. But. Well, and just the double standard of it. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you you know you see all these not adult performers posting n- pretty much nakedness, and it's like wow, five billion likes, and no one's done shit about it. It's so frustrating. I wonder if like that is due to people like at like major fucking talent agencies or shit like that, major management groups who have inside track to people at Facebook or some shit be like, are you, do you really want to like delete a William Morris, a client, you know, client? We have a lot of other really famous clients that will stop using your platform real quick. I'm sure it's all that like blackmailing shit too. You know what I mean? You know, they use all that. It's just, it's always going to be like that. Yeah, It's always going to be like that. There's no changing. It's always been like that. It's always going to be like that. You, If you have money, if you have a lot, a lot, a lot of money, and you can do whatever you want, the rules don't apply to you, unfortunately. It's obviously fucked up. Um, but yeah, it sucks. If you look at the grand scheme of things, it's crazy because money is all imaginary. All of it. It really fucking is. It's like, I think, you know, when they show like on the news, sometimes they'll show the like, when they, if they talk about like a stimulus or something and they just show the money printing, you're like, see, like, it look how, how hard is it that you just keep doing that and just give it to me or give it to you? Like this, how is this fucking real? Like it, to me, it's just a fucking machine that's printing shit out. It has nothing. It's so, I don't get it. And maybe I sound ignorant. I sound dumb, whatever. I really don't give a fuck. This is just how I think. And it just... Do you know what I mean? Like, I just see it. Well, money's all an illusion that we as a society agree works. Yeah, but it's like, oh, well, why can't you just print a sheet out for me? Why couldn't you give it to me? You're obviously just printing it out and hand. Like, why? Like, why can't I have it? Because you haven't heard it. I can't. You know what I mean? It's one of those things that it's like. Well, it's (sighs) because originally those notes were supposed to, you know, represent what we had in the fucking gold reserves. But gold, like. Gold being a value is all just us agreeing that gold has value. Everything's just fucking sucks. And it does not all suck. Okay, no, it doesn't all suck. You know what I mean? But like, it's just frustrating. A lot of it is frustrating. And it should change for the better. But it probably that's won't. about it. I know. Yeah, it's not going to. So we're done. Done with that. Yeah. It, it, done with that. Next. <laughs> You're like, no, no, no. I'm going to turn that rabbit hole. Yeah. Done. Done, done, with that. done with the negativity. You're like, no, 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 Matt. I didn't come here to be bummed out about economics. Oh my god, so much. Ow. Are you gonna dive into the NFT space? Okay, so like, I don't even understand NFTs, but I've done NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. So like, you know, like companies approach you and ask you to, hey, if I'll shoot a little video of this, to do that, we'll make it an NFT. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I will send you a video of me doing this and doing that. And you do whatever you want with it as long as I'm getting paid for it. And that's what's happened. So that's as involved as I have been with NFTs. I have NFTs on certain websites you can find and you can buy, but that's as much as I can tell you because that's as much as I know. <laughs> 
that's my take on it. It's a weird, weird thing. I think it's got a, maybe another year or two before the bubble bursts on them. Yeah, I don't. Because th- the problem with it is, not, not to say you shouldn't go buy Lily's NFTs. Go buy them. Go buy them. It's okay. <laughs> Basically, it's like for collectibles, it's supposed to be a virtual like stamp of authenticity. Yes. The problem with it is there's not enough space in the blockchain for the actual content to be contained in the blockchain. The identifying information of the file and its location is what's contained in the blockchain. That's just a fucking weird thing, and it's confusing. Don't confuse me. Oh, fine. <laughs> fine. Don't confuse me. But yeah, it's it's just fuck. It's just odd. Because at first I was like, well, I don't want to be part of this if I don't really understand what's going on because it's just so weird. And yet that whole concept is just so odd to me. Like, wouldn't you rather be like, here. I sold you this and this is yours and you actually have it and you can see it and you can touch it. You know what I mean? Then like. Well, it was marketed as like, oh, you get to have exclusivity to this digital art. Yeah, but it's weird to me. But the problem is you have exclusivity to its the lo- location, not the actual, actual yeah. piece of art. So, you know that this is at my house now. So in case you're looking for it, that's what you own. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm like you can look at it. It's yeah, there. That's cool. Yeah, but that's that's yours. It. That that that's yours unless the website goes down. But that's about it. Yeah, it's such an odd thing. But hey, whatever makes us money, right? Exactly. Like, on I am all for additional revenue streams. For sure. Same. That's how I was like when I was approached by the other, by these companies to do them. I was like, of course, I have bills to pay. Let's do it. You know, it's just something that I personally don't understand. You know, I don't understand the the interest in it. And so it's kind of weird to me. But if it's someone that's super into it and that's their thing, then that's awesome. Go for it. It's just something me personally, I don't understand how that works and the crazy interest. But cool. That's what you like. I didn't really understand it. Like, I had to do a dive into it. Like, so through a friend of a friend, I got introduced to some folks behind an, uh, an adult NFT site. And they wanted me to run, like, their socials and, like, their Discord and shit like that. Yeah. So I, you know. Obviously, I'm going to look into like. Of what, course, you. That's how I'm like. I wanted. That's what I was like. I wanted to check before I said yes to this because I don't want to just dive into something that I know absolutely nothing about. Yeah. Unfortunately, or unfortunately, it did not quite work out because they made me an offer based on like, oh, it's a value. You know, we're going to give you stock options in the company and like not pay you for your time. And I'm like, I can't do that. Um, one, I can't do that. Two, who provided this valuation of your company? Like you're claiming that you're valued at ten million. Is that an internal valuation? Guess what? Matt Slayer Inc. is worth twenty million dollars yeah. right now because I made that valuation. Like exactly. What is this valuation based on that my stock is supposedly worth on? Yeah. On top of it, what you guys are offering me in stock at its current valuation that you guys have magically come up with comes out to like twenty one dollars an hour for the amount of hours you're looking to put in. Yeah, that's um, not- let's uh renegotiate that and like uh, they didn't even respond back to my email with those points i'm like shut up yep yeah it's yeah i'm like cool thank you for like I can't seeing yourself that. out yeah it's it, it's now i had to contact my friend who sent me up and like yo they didn't even respond to thank the email thank you but no like they didn't even respond to the email these i like i felt i was raising valid concerns here like who came up with this valuation that's why because you spoke up and you actually looked into it they just are used to people being like oh Okay, but the same thing with me. Like, I ask so many questions, and if it doesn't make sense and I don't agree to it, then I'm not going to do it. Well, I can't do it. That wasn't even a no for me. Like, it was a like, I have questions. I have questions. I'm still thinking about it. These are valid questions. Can you answer them? Nope. (laughs) Well, one, I have valid questions too. This is a negotiation. Why would I take your opening offer? Yeah, Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, no, no, no. You're supposed to offer me something in return. Give me more of what I want. I give. Nope. I'm just not even going to respond. Cool. Have fun. Exactly. Exactly. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm not going to put that company on blast publicly, but you know. no, same. You know, well, I mean, like the company I worked for was great. Like I had no issue with them. It was awesome. Um, it was just, I just feel like, like I said, going back to it, I just don't really see the point of NFTs. Like I'll shoot the videos and we can make NFTs. I have no problem with it because I'm making money and it's, it's easy and it's fun. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, I think it's a weird concept. It seems to make more sense to me. Like it doesn't make a ton of sense in the first place, but it seems to make more sense to me for like unique digital art, but pornography 
if you want to consider it art or not, is generally not just for like, look, I have pornography. It's to rub your genitals too. Yeah. It's not, yeah. If you're just like looking to get off, do you really care if you have the original? I don't. But I mean, still go buy my NFTs. Right. <laughs> buy Lily's NFTs. I still just don't understand. The, I still don't understand. It's just an odd thing to me. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, even if it worked like how it's intended, like where you yes. own the original art, like it's weird. It'd be like it's like one thing. Like I have a Rembrandt on my wall. I yes. I have a I have a, a a virtual Rembrandt. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not beating my meat to yeah. a virtual Rembrandt. Yes. Where it's like, or are you? Shh! Don't kink shame me. It's okay. Ideally, people are, you know, getting off to what you're doing. Yes. Unless they're, like, that much of a diehard fan to be like, that's right. That's fucking crazy. But at that point, wouldn't it just be better for them to just hand you money? Like, Lily, I'm such a big fan. I know. And you can just get something personalized for you and get a custom video right. that you can have on your computer and jerk off to and watch whenever you want. Right. I'm pretty sure Lily will even say your name. Yeah, I will definitely say your name. As I, I won't poorly dub it in for her. No, it'll be great. I'll personally say it, and I'll say it all sexy, or however you want me to say it. I can yell your name. I can moan your name. I can, I don't know, <laughs> write your name on a paper. <laughs> like with today's date, like you're being held co- yeah, hostage. Yeah, like, exactly. Where are you going to find a newspaper for that? Like, do they oh, still make right? those? Like, yeah, no, I feel like I'm going to need like, another phone or the computer to take like a picture of like the date. I don't even know. <laughs> No, you gotta have man. How are you gonna have proof of life these days? Where are you gonna find a newspaper? And be like, no, it's today's date with today's article. I swear, yeah, that's so funny though. That is hilarious. It's a rough life for people that are kidnapping people these days. <laughs> rough time. We are living in rough times. I mean, it's gotta be hard to be a kidnapper. Like, you know, you can't get today's paper. People have co- clothes with RFD tags in it. Like. Did you? I don't know. Like you're a mother, you may have seen this back in the day. Like they made children's clothes where like you could, had built-in trackers so you could track your kids. They made clothes like that. Uh huh. Shut up. Dead serious. That's hilarious. I mean, that's fucking crazy. Now the only thing I know is like the you know they have like you can do it on your phone the apps that have like tracking or like watches that have like tracking stuff. But clothes is fucking crazy. I love it. I would totally buy it. Yeah, they, they definitely made like. Don't give me now. Look, guess what I'm gonna do when I get home? Start looking for tracking. <laughs> Close the tracking devices. Yeah, like, like, dude, the kid doesn't even know. It's just like built into the. Yeah, their no, code. that's what's wonderful because no one would assume that. But if they have like a phone, they're gonna take the person's phone away because right. they know there's tracking. Or if you, the kid has a watch, they might think they might not think, but you know, but clothes is just like it's clothes. Yeah, who's gonna think that? I like that. Sounds like that's what I'm doing today. (laughs) I'm just setting you up to be more of a helicopter parent. Exactly. You're gonna buy it for my parents and for my and for my child. So I know where my parents are, make sure they're safe. That's great. (laughs) I just take care of everyone. Get it for the dog. Gotta get it for Lil's too. Little fatty needs to wear it on her collar. Oh, wait, she has a chip though, so that's what that is. Yeah, that's insider, but someone has yeah. to scan that chip. You can't. Yeah, that's see, that's the thing that sucks. Like, if they don't find her, then they're not going to scan. Or if they find her, but they don't take her somewhere, then we can't scan it. So she needs to, yeah, she needs a tracking device too. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Thanks. Lily's going to have a whole command center. Like, I have so. a whole thing. We need to cut this short because I have things to do now, which also include fucking finding a tracking collar harness for Fatty. How is Fatty? I haven't seen that dog in years. She is amazing. She is fat as ever and adorably lovely uh snoring so loud um she is the best she is so stubborn she never wants to go on a walk when i need her to go on a walk so i'm like dragging her um but she's great (laughs) but she is a great little meat thing meatball tortellini (laughs) she is the best good dog she was always a good dog she's seven years old now she just turned seven on Thanksgiving. She's getting old as well. That's wonderful. We're all getting old, Lily. I know. It's crazy. It's great. It's been so long. It's so weird. Like, the amount of people that we both have seen come and go in this business. Like, Yeah, it's so odd. It is really. It's just Yeah, it really is. It's just crazy. That's why, and to me, I'm always like, yeah, it was like two years ago. And I'm like, oh, shit, wait. Like I was saying <laughs> earlier. It was actually seven, wasn't it? There's something like that. Someone was asking, like, oh, when's the last time you worked with blah, blah, blah? I was like, or, or, yeah, I was like, 
I think it was this year. I'm like, I stopped shooting for Co because of COVID. Then I went back in uh, February. I'm like, I think February. And I was like, and then I checked and I was like, it was September last year. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I thought I had worked with these people and I was so excited to, yeah, no, it was over a fucking year ago. It's like shit like that. Like, where has time gone? I know. It's then, only like, getting worse. And then with fucking COVID just made it like, it's a giant blur. Yeah. Like the same thing with the dentist. When was your last, because I changed dentist. So when was your last appointment? Like I was telling you guys, I was literally making appointments today. Um, I'm like, I think I had a checkup earlier this year. I'm like, but I don't even know because fucking COVID the last fucking almost two years now, everything's been a giant blur. And I'm like, wait, I can't tell you. I'm like, I'm fucking sorry, but I know I'm due for one. Can you just clean my fucking teeth, please? Check the insurance. Like, it's just, I can't give people even like a ballpark anymore. I'm like, I don't fucking know. I'm sorry. <laughs> just please take my word for it. It's okay. Just do the thing I want to give you like, money for. I know. Just please fucking do it. Just, just I don't know. Just don't, just, just take it. <laughs> for fuck's sake. So that's how my brain's been. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stressful. It's so, there's so many things. But it's been great being here, chatting with you. Oh, definitely. Catching up. I love it. Yeah, no, we'll go catch a metal show at some point. At some point. Yes, I know. That's another thing. I was like so stoked when shows starting to come and then like started getting canceled again. And I was like, fuck. It's like the worst. It's the worst. But eventually, eventually it'll work out and we'll be able to go to shows again and it'll be cool. And it'll be good times. Well, before you get out of here, why don't you tell them where they can find you on your very shadow band things? Yes, even though I'm shadow banned, I really hope you guys can find me. Um, the most, most, most important thing, because that's what makes me money and that's what pays my bills, is finding, along with shooting porno and production and scenes, of course, <laughs> is my OnlyFans, which is lilylanexxx.com. L I L Y L A N E X X X dot com. And then my very shadow band Twitter is the same, Lily Lane XXX. And my very shadow band third Instagram account is Miss MS Lily Lane. So M S L I L Y L A N E, Miss Lily Lane. Hell yeah. Maybe you'll find me. And guys, those are the only things I'm on. I'm not on what's what's up or what google hangouts google hangouts <laughs> i'm on someone asked me like you're on google hangouts your real name is glenda i was like what it's like yeah i've been sending you money i'm like i don't fucking know no my real name is not glenda and i don't even know what google hangouts is well we've been talking and i've been sending you no you haven't so if you're not talking to me on only fans or i mean like the only place you can text me is oh textlilylane.com. It's the only place you can text me is textlilylane.com. You almost forgot about that one. Yeah. I was like, so that's the only one you can text me is literally that one, which is my Sex Panther, or on my OnlyFans. I do not DM on Instagram. I do not DM on Twitter. I do not DM on Google fucking Hangouts, Snapchat, WhatsApp, fucking, I don't know what else. I don't. So you're not chatting with me. You're chatting with some fucking weirdo that is not me. And they're pretending to be me. So just remember that. Okay. And if you come across all these pictures on a dating app, not her either. Oh, yeah. That that was that thing this morning or last night. It said an email from Z Zusk, Z O O S K. Yeah. Yeah. And it said, your picture has not been approved for nudity. And I clicked it. I was like, I haven't posted pictures on anything. So I clicked and I was like, Zusk, what's a Zusk? So I Googled Zusk. It said dating profile. And I was like, so apparently someone made a dating profile with my email. Um, so I don't even know if it's pictures of me or if it's just pictures and they use that email. So I really don't know because I didn't fucking delve into it, because dive into it because there's no fucking point. But apparently, uh, yeah, I'm not on any dating sites either. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so just lilylanexxx.com or text lilylane.com. Those are the only places you can chat with me. Everyone else is a fake and they are not me and I don't give a fuck if you're giving them money because it's not me so don't come back and yell at me because that's you that's on you so deal with it figure it out figure it out <laughs> figure it out send your money to the real lily lane. send your money to the real lily lane not to the fakes because i will actually provide awesome videos for you and content and i really do love chatting with my fans so you guys chat with me and we'll have a good time thank you for supporting my work hell yeah hell yeah 
And as always, you can find me at Matt underscore Slayer on Twitter, Matt Slayer on Instagram, Matt F and Slayer on Facebook, twitch.tv slash Matt F and Slayer. You can find the podcast at And Now We Drink on Twitter, And Now We Drink underscore on Instagram. Oh, that's right. We have a YouTube channel. Go to that at youtube.com slash And Now We Drink. And until next week, drink up, motherfuckers. Yeah.